In this video, I'm going to very quickly talk about installing Python, at least the right version of Python, Python 3, on whatever your Linux distribution of choice is. For this channel, I generally recommend Ubuntu. That's what I show everything on. You can check which Python version you have installed by typing Python, and then a space, and then dash dash version. And that'll show you when you type in Python, this is the version of Python that you have installed. So if I go and change that to Python 3 dash dash version, you can see here I've got a slightly old but still fine version of Python 3 installed. If you don't have Python 3 installed, what you're going to want to do, I mean, and the package could be named something else, so if you just type in Python and then hit tab a few times, you'll probably see a few names. Not all of those are their own binaries, they're all just like symlinks, links to one or two binaries, probably a Python 2 version and a Python 3 version. If you don't have Python 3 installed, then I recommend you install it. If you're on Ubuntu or Debian, then aptitude, apt-get, install, Python 3 should do the trick. If you're on FreeBSD, package install Python 3. Pac-Man, if you're on Arch. Yum, if you're on Red Hat or CentOS, on and on and on. Obviously, I'm not going to cover all the distros here. The point I want to make is that in production, if you want to install Python in a repeatable sort of professional way, you're going to be using something called Python Virtual Env. I have a separate video dealing with setting up sort of a pro dev uh, environment for Python, but I'm going to leave it out of this basics course because I just don't think that complexity is necessary. So if you're curious, you can go check out that other video on setting up a basic Python development environment. But the idea behind that is you basically install a directory that has all of your Python dependencies in it. So you're not dependent on your host operating system for giving you a Python version that you expect. Using a virtual environment basically packages up everything you need, Python itself and all of the Python libraries and uh, modules you need in a directory that is repeatable. You can get all those same exact ingredients on a server or ship it around to other developers based on one single text file. So that's a really clean way to get a repeatable, predictable Python environment set up. And that's what you'll do professionally. I'm putting air quotes around that. For basic development, this is fine. Make sure you've got a Python 3 version installed. So at this point, just verify that you have a Python 3 shell, whatever it is named. For me, it's Python 3, and that gets me this Python 3.5.2 shell. And that's where we're gonna start the course. So I'll see you in the next video.